Oh my god, she's angry. I've angered her. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, William. William's getting married. Oh my god, Makai showed up shirtless. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the royal family so we are getting a lot of episodes out i'm i'm just so excited to be doing season three i'm realizing there's like random mailboxes more next to the tortosa palace so no casme wedding in this episode i i do need a little bit more time to prepare but we're having two other weddings in this episode and we are going to figure out this Frederick and Jessica situation because, oh my gosh, this has been quite a wild ride. So before we have any weddings, we are going to have Jessica and Frederick go to therapy and then we might figure out like the rest of what's going on after that. I'm gonna get rid of these two other male, wait, why are they here? They're not even on the actual lot. Oh, okay, well, I'll just tool mod that off. I'm really looking forward to doing this. It was interesting that they wouldn't go in the last episode. Somebody pointed out that maybe like they don't, they don't want to, or that's not something that comes up. Maybe because like they're dating, it's not something that like the first thing they thought of going to therapy. But I'm wondering like who initiated this? Because I don't think Frederick, that's something that would come up immediately is to like go to therapy. And then I like, I, I don't know, he seems to, someone pointed out like he seems to like to handle things and try to do them alone. So there is that. And then Jessica might be the one to suggest it, but someone also pointed out that means they might take, like, that's showing she's taking it seriously. So I, I think with all of this happening, I think the friends were the one to push them to go to therapy because Alice May probably would have brought it up. Molly Grace is like, yeah, go do that. Like, what what is happening? I noticed, so Jessica has this, where did it go? Which one is it? So she has a fear of being alone, which I didn't realize. And then she also has fragile friendships. Lady Jessica remembers how fragile friendship can be and worries whether she's doing enough to prevent other friendships from disintegrating. So I think that's really interesting because this stuff that's going on with Frederick and Jessica might affect the friend group in some way if they don't stay together. So that's interesting. That I actually don't know what that's from. We're gonna go to therapy. Frederick's feeling very sad. Oh my god, they have no romance. They have a really strong friendship, though. That's really interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go to relationship, and we're gonna ask for Cupid's counseling. We're gonna see. Apparently, this is like a questionnaire. Someone said it might not necessarily, like affect the story in the long run, but I think it'll give us a better idea. It is really interesting seeing everybody's thoughts and suggestions on Frederick and Jessica, because again, there are a lot of people who want them to stay together, as I mentioned in the last episode, but there's also some people who are mentioning like the other aspects of, like people have, have shared so many theories. If you just look at the comments in, in this episode, and then we also talked about it a bit on a stream too. So I did mention that in the last episode as, as well. That was a stream that we, that I did right before I filmed the last episode but yeah it, it's so interesting also james is here hey it's his neighbor that's his brother frederick was talking to james a lot Let's see hug we can say hi to james i'm not sure where ian is oh 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 were you guys up to something i can't take johan seriously in the mustache y'all I just can't. Uh, there was a while where he kept shaving it, and I thought that maybe Sadira just kept telling him to shave, but they've got a really high romantic relationship. Okay, let's start with you, Frederick. Close your eyes, look within. What feelings are you sensing in your body today? Would he, I don't think he would like straight out say like, I'm feeling depressed, but I feel like it's obvious. I mean, like he's really hurt by this whole situation. Again, I don't think Jessica was like, outright flirty like i think she's just outgoing and she has a very kind of flirty personality we're gonna say i feel depressed though like you you can tell something's up with him they say i'm sorry you're feeling that way our emotions are like a turbulent swarm of bees but we can't run away from the bees no we, we must run toward the bees that's horrible advice yes they'll sting but we must accept the sting oh our relationship can only blossom if we let ourselves get stung by bees i mean like yeah, but I wouldn't use the bees situation. Okay, okay. I, I guess we keep just getting questions. Interesting. 
Sadira, do you want to put clothes on? Because your brother-in-law's outside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some clothes. Magic. Oh, I think she's a potion. Magic drink potion. Yeah. I don't know where she got the potion from. All right, we're, we're gonna have you change because your brother-in-law is outside. I wonder if Johan and Sadira knows what is going on. I think they know something's up. Maybe they also kind of wanted the couple there. Because, like... I don't think that's a super, at least not that I know of. I think more people should do it, but I don't think it's necessarily a common thing for people in their young to mid 20s, especially if they're just dating somebody to go to couples therapy. However, Jessica and Frederick have been together for a very, very long time. So at this point it is almost like they were, I mean like Frederick was going to propose. I wonder if Jessica, I, I, I do think Jessica knows that. I did also have some people point out like, I really think it's a glitch that this happened. Oh, how about you? That took forever to show up. How about you, Lady Jessica? How are you feeling today? What happens if she says I can't complain? I don't want to ruin. I mean, something's obviously wrong. She's stressed. Hmm, interesting. It seems if your inner sim is trying to tell you something, isn't it? Oh, maybe it's this. Stop the cycle. You wake up, go to work, use the toilet, eat dinner, go back to sleep. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It's all meaningless, Lady Jessica. Don't you see? You must look inside and ask yourself, what do you really want? Well, that's deep and very relatable. Not the whole bathroom thing, but like that, like, oh. Jessica, what do you want? Okay. But people pointed out, like, they really think it might just be a glitch that the Sims do. Because that does happen. Like, we know the Sims. They, they, they'll they be mean to each other randomly. And I usually, I, there are times where I ignore it. So the reason I didn't ignore it with Frederick and Jessica this time is because... And I've told this to people on my stream. Obviously not, like, I haven't told you guys. But I have deleted a romantic relationship with Jessica multiple times. Because I was like, oh, that's a glitch. Like, it just happens. I'm not going to let this... You know, the Sims just being the sims we also saw it happen at the debutante ball um johan do you want to invite your brother inside or we've seen it happen at the debutante ball you know there was that whole thing with kaleo and caspian let's get to the roots of some of the issues what are you having trouble with in your relationship romantic relationship romance dynamics romantic satisfaction and attraction i don't think it's attraction romance dynamics it could be that it could be romantic satisfaction, but I don't think that's the root of the problem. Romantic relationship. I'm gonna say the relation, well, dynamics. Oh my God, this is actually, I don't know what to say. Romance dynamics. Sure, we'll try that. Do you not like how the romance dynamic is playing out? We can work with that, okay. Okay, but yeah, I've ignored like a romance relationship with Jessica multiple times in the past. So I, I kind of have a rule, like if it keeps appearing, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let it happen in the story. So that was one reason. And then other people were saying like, Jessica should talk maybe to Alice May, who's queen, or to talk to Caspian, who went from a commoner to being now soon to be Prince Consort. I almost feel like that's why she's freaking out though. Like Caspian is, is you know, he, he was a commoner and now he's going to be Prince Consort, but I think it, it works for Caspian. I, he's not worried about it necessarily. Like obviously there might have been some worry in the past, but like it, it's something he got used to and and he's he's fine with like this this life is okay with him more than okay if he gets to be with alice may then that's anything that he could ever want jessica on the other hand loves frederick i think but a lot of people again pointed out that they for the, i need more questions to pop up sorry we're just standing here but i'm not gonna lie in the past with frederick and jessica ooh, our romance dynamic feels dead whoa i want something new in this relationship i crave stimulation vent to each other i think you should i think you should vent to each other what i'm seeing is a severe lack of control on the part of both of you we can't move forward until you birth both learn to control yourselves i feel like that's like a backhanded thing to jessica dude does he know does the therapist know this might not even go necessarily where i want it to but yeah frederick and jessica in the past have just been like i don't know i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie i never felt too strongly about them they weren't like 
they were kind of hard to write. I, I didn't like relate to them. I was like, okay, they're goofy. Frederick is like a bit more serious. Jessica's like very outgoing. Like, okay, this whole situation has made them so much more interesting to me. I, I, I don't know if that's like bad to say, but like, it's just, it, it makes them feel more real. Again, like, you know, everyone might have their issues. Some are bigger than others. Some are much smaller. And, and, they, and like the whole point of a relationship is like working through things. You, you're a team, you work on your stuff together. And it doesn't seem like Frederick and Jessica have been working on their stuff together so we need to figure that out and and that's what i want this this episode to to kind of figure out a way and obviously we'll we'll move on and talk about other stuff too but yeah i just wanted to figure out this whole frederick and jessica thing so while this therapy appointment didn't what wait what this therapy appointment didn't go exactly as i would have hoped you two need serious work i would like you to continue to keep seeing me once a week for a while not on your life quack okay that didn't help! Good, I'm booked up pretty heavy for the week, but just keep checking back with the receptionist so they'll let you know when I can pencil you in. Sir, this is the prince! This is the prince! The crown prince! Wait, did this even- he has an emotion bomb now? What is this? Needs more therapy! Yeah, you do. Oh my god! Jessica's angry? <gasps> oh! Therapy is a scam. From going to couples counseling, that therapy session was a complete scam. What a waste of simoleons. They, oh, they think I'm nuts. From sharing in couples counseling, Lady Jessica shared some deep feelings and can't help but feel embarrassed even if therapy is a safe space. Well, there, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information, okay? Well, we have a wedding to get to. We are gonna have William and Candace wedding and they're gonna go with this in their minds, on their minds. Oh my gosh, that, that went, that didn't go. Wait, 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 hold on. Can we just talk for a second? Oh my, <gasps> wait, they have a negative romance relationship therapy. That didn't help at all. What do we do? What? They have, they're promised to each other. They have promise rings. Very unsatisfied, neutral. No. Oh, she, he doesn't know. Therapy blues. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. But you don't know your like attraction level and all that stuff. Was that it? So ask about, okay. Ask about attract, be like, Hey, are, are you even attracted to me anymore? Wait, what? Attraction. You're all right, I guess. I don't think anything is particularly wrong with you, Emily. Oh my God. This is actually a mess. I do, okay, a lot of, so many people have said they should break up and just maybe get back together. I don't wanna like disappoint the people who think that like who are their OTP that that you're like I I don't want them to break up. You guys have a really high friendship though. Some people have said like what if they break up and get back together later? Like just find themselves a bit. So that's an option. The other I mean it's also it's either stay to, I think at this point cuz we're not going to know for a bit. There's like so many opportunities that could present themselves and the like, if they ignore the red flags and stay together, they might get divorced in the future, but they could also not. And then if they, oh my gosh, she's angry. I've angered her. I'm so sorry. They're both from therapies. Okay, I'm, you're, okay, we're pushing a little, I think we need, I think we need a break. I think we do need a break. I think, I just like a break from this conversation. I'm gonna put a poll up. We'll see if anything else happens at William's wedding, but I, I think we need to cool off for a bit. I'll leave a poll to ask if you guys think they should break up and then I'll, you know, that, that again, doesn't have to be a permanent thing or if they should stay together and try to work it out. So there'll be two options for there. Oh my gosh, okay, well, that was intense. That's an intense way to start this episode. Let's go to the wedding now. Okay, so we are now about to have William and Candace's wedding. Y'all, William's getting married. Isn't that wild? Look how pretty Tom Morong is too. Like this is, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the wedding starting. This is kind of a small, a bit more casual wedding. Um, Nani and Malia's will for sure be a bit more casual too. So our wedding is about to start. It's really just like Candace family, some of the close friends that you might recognize, some roommates from college, some friends you might have seen in the past, and then Williams, of course, the friend group and his side of the family. Also, I'm really excited to show some of y'all the 
teens that age up. So this is Vincent. He's, I mean, technically a preteen. He, I just, I don't, I was not expecting him really to look like that. Nani is here. Diana is here. Ava's here. So they're doing a more traditional Thai wedding. I'm really excited. This is going to be our first wedding in Tomorong. I will say, am I upset? that there's only one 40 by 30 lot that the palace is on, yes, because there weren't a lot of wedding venue options here, which is such a bummer. There really was like not a lot. So that that was a bummer, but you know, we're we're about to have this wedding. Very excited for that at least. Frederick is here. Jessica is not here yet. Frederick, how are you feeling? Let's see. Let, why is Vincent know her roommate? That's interesting. Just be like, oh, announce it, engage. I mean, you guys are literally about to have your wedding. Obviously, you're engaged. Alice is feeling flirty. Her and Caspian will be having their wedding in the next episode, so I'm excited for that. So this is no hair. Hey, I thought the hair was kind of like a cute little kind of awkward teen sort of hair, so that's no Heya. And then we're still, I mean, like Jessica's not here yet. Molly Grace isn't here yet. Oh, okay. And then this is Cambridge. So Cambridge is also now a preteen. Um, so, oh, she's feeling, she's feeling a little angsty, it seems. Kenda, do you know Cambridge? I don't actually know if you do. Do you know Ava? You should know Ava. Let's also attempt introduction. Okay, well, you need to introduce yourself to Ava. Candace should know most of the family. They've been together for six years. She probably knows them, but just getting to... Oh, proper! I don't... I'm gonna say no, honestly. I, I don't know if, if that quite fits her. I really wish this venue was not in the middle of the street here. Like, this side is like, eh. But then this side is like, wow. Like, the lights... Have y'all seen just some wedding venues in Thailand? Because they're freaking gorgeous. So, so beautiful. I'm, I'm literally obsessed. So how is Frederick feeling? Frederick is feeling, let's see. Honestly, Frederick would so be his best man. So for Thai weddings, some of them have like kind of adopted the westernized tradition of, you know, having a wedding party. I decided not to do that with them, but Frederick would 100% be William's best man. I can't as a maid of honor. She, okay, so actually her, her sister's not even here. I need to wait till her sister gets here. So um, her sister and her in-law and her nephew should be coming as well. Honestly, she's not that close with her sister. I don't think her sister would be her maid of honor. I don't know if Alice May would be her maid of honor. G is also coming. And then Lady Ying, who we've seen in a previous post. And oh my god, did Ava and Fallon just hug? Maybe they're getting along better now. That would be very nice. Oh my god! Oh my god, Nadia and Malia. Oh my gosh, Cambridge is angry. <laughs> There's a lot of angst happening right now. Oh my gosh, Gia is here now. Hi, Gia. Oh, their romantic relationship is really bad. I really don't think that. I mean, for me, William and Gia didn't date that long. They dated for like a couple months, honestly. So I really don't think it makes that much of a difference. I think they're fine. They've blown over it. You know, when Kenda and William got together, we kind of got closure from Gia a bit too. So there's also that. So I really think it's fine. It looks like almost everyone's here though. So I think we can go ahead and start this wedding. Okay, we're gonna start this wedding. Everybody sit down. This is great. Oh my gosh. Okay, so William. Oh, hey. Oh, she had oh you're you're honey you're like a little bit late sit here okay so first we're gonna send down two sims escort megan and walk where why is william not like one of the top options here william okay i put this wall because <laughs> i want it to be pretty oh my god william william's getting married He's getting married. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's kind of bright. Okay, and then Kanda's nephew, Lord Bin, is walking her down the aisle. <gasps> okay, the light is like a little bit harsh. Let's turn that down. Okay, William and Kanda are getting married now, y'all. Wow. What has William taught all of us about life? No matter how many times you get your heart broken, no matter how many disaster breakups and relationships you have, if you are patient and take time to work on yourself, you can land someone as hot as Kanda. I think we mentioned this already, but 
this is also like I feel has kind of put things with Jessica under per perspective. Like maybe she hasn't completely matured yet. Like all of her friends are getting married and getting engaged. They're becoming monarchs. Like that's that's a huge thing and it really must have just shocked her. And you know, honestly, she's still pretty young. Like if she's not ready yet, then she's not ready. But maybe Frederick is ready and is like taking things way more seriously. And she's like, I thought we were on the same page maybe. Or like, I, I, need, to, I need to slow it down. Like she just freaked out, I think, is what this whole situation I think we've kind of talked about. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, Bubbles, Bubbles, stop. <laughs> they're getting married, they're married now. Bubbles is like either celebrating or what, but they're married. Bubbles, shh. Bubbles, stop. Well, let's have our first dance first. Have first dance with Lady Kanda and then everyone else steady sit over here. Okay, oh, hi, Frederick. Hi, oh my gosh. They're having their first dance with each other. Oh, I'm so excited for them. I do, maybe they'll wait like just a little bit before having kids. Yeah, the, I think it's like, I don't want children just yet. I need, I wanna like, you know, I still want to just have my freedom for a little bit, like just a little bit. So maybe they'll wait a little tiny bit before they start to have kids. I don't know about Malia and Nani. We'll have to see with them. I think Alice May, Caspian are gonna very quickly have children. <laughs> I think they are like very soon honeymoon starting, going to start to try. I think they're ready. Molly Grace, I, I can see being pretty ready. Oh my God, what if her and Alice May have like, are pregnant around the same time? <gasps> that would be so cute. Oh my gosh, I would absolutely love this. Hi, Abraham, you are just getting down, aren't you? Oh my gosh, now I'm having them do the intimate slow dance. I'm obsessed with the intimate slow dance, y'all. I It's like so perfect for weddings too. It's what I love so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. His parents are probably so happy for him too. They're, maybe they were like, we were getting a little bit worried about our son. <laughs> like, things were not going well for quite a bit. But now he's happy and he's married. Oh my gosh, I love how charming. Whoa, what? Jessica likes romance enthusiast. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she was matchmaker for a while. It's so interesting because she seriously played matchmaker for a while. And it, it was almost like she was so focused on everyone else's relationship and not her own. That's kind of what it felt like to me for a bit. Oh my God, why is Molly Grace embarrassed? Wait, why are y'all not really friends? Has that always been like that? What is happening? Oh my, wait, what? Chat with Lady Jessica, you're just chatting. Aggravating conversation from socialization, feeling angry. Oh, well now you're flirty. And then, wait, why were you why were you embarrassed though? Called out from being confronted by a loyal. Whoa, what? What happened? Jessica, what are your mood lids? Therapy blues, aggravating Wait, were you and Molly Grace in an aggravating conversation because that would be interesting. Why we're very uh, we're kind of crowd. I mean to be fair, it's a pretty small place. Oh my god. Yo, what happened to their friendship? Molly Grace and Jessica, what happened? Like I know there's stuff going on with Frederick and Molly Gr or and Jessica, but is that affecting where's jessica on here jessica's not even on oh my god she's not even on the friends list anymore <gasps> what happened molly grace's sentiments about jessica a personal rift molly grace is a people person so the decline of her friendship with lady jessica is especially painful it's hard not to take it personally and then jessica's sentiments about molly grace hurt she feels wronged by molly grace and then also personal, maybe like Mo because Molly Grace got mad at Jessica. Jessica was like, this is between me and your brother, right? Maybe that's what's going on. And maybe that's why she's like hurt that Molly Grace is acting like this. But they have a super siblings from a great relationship with an ally sibling blood or not. Wait, what? The fuck? Oh my God, y'all, they lost their friendship. They used to be besties. Oh my god, that's wild! We should cut cake. Hold on. Okay, we're we're gonna have Candid Willem cut cake because we we have one more wedding to get to in this episode. Oh my god, stop! They're adorable. They they are adorable. Okay, but y'all gotta cut the cake. Hold on. Okay, 
Kanda and William are gonna cut the cake. Megan is dancing up a storm. Okay. Okay, are we cutting? Are we cutting? Are we cutting the cake? Okay, all right, they're cutting the cake. I wonder if... Oh, no, William, not you with the knife. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, my God, he didn't throw it and spin it. Wow, that was so pleasant and unchaotic. William, have you... You've grown up. Your chaos is gone. Knock on wood. I don't know what else is gonna happen, but oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh, he's feeding a... Oh, they're feeding pizza. Wait, wait, wait! Wait! Stop, stop. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, oh, so this is Felix, by the way. I didn't show you him. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. I love him. Is a couple months after Molly, Grace, and Graham's wedding. But Nani and Malia are, I feel like getting married like the week after. So let's go do that. Okay, we are at our final wedding of the episode. I'm so excited for Nani and Malia. Oh, jokesters. Malia and her dad. I could, yeah, I could see them being jokesters. Very, very much so. So we are getting this wedding. Don't mind the mailbox just right there. But we're, we're getting this wedding started. But Makana, there's a lot of people we haven't seen in a while here. Makana, your tail is so long, hello? He's just swimming and vibing. I'm so excited to see Kimmy. No, no, no offense, Makana, You're, it's great to see you too, but. Oh my God, Makai showed up shirtless. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Makai. Oh my God, okay, we're, we're still waiting for some people to get here, but while we wait, so I mean, obviously, small wedding to, it's, next episode's gonna be a massive wedding. So I think we can do with the small weddings for now. Next episode is going to be huge. And in the next episode, not only are we, of course, going to have Alice May and Caspian's wedding, but we are going to see more of Zayori and Rin and Gabor and Mamie and what's going on there because everyone is invited to that wedding, like literally everybody. We are going to get into the drama because yeah, we'll get back to Zayori stuff after after just like the weddings are over. I just wanted to focus on the weddings for a little bit and then we'll see all of that. Makai, I would. Oh my God, Dean, no. Makai is the only one allowed to be shirtless. <laughs> Put some clothes back on, sir. Okay, Makai, you're okay. You, you stay that way. Cool, okay. So Jessica, hello. We, I know a, a theme through this episode is talking about Jessica and Frederick, but I feel like now is a good time to talk to your dad. You and your dad are so, build a sand sculpture together. Be like, hey dad, can I talk to you? He's like, sure, wanna go build a sand sculpture? And she's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so people were asking, and we kind of talked about it. I, I mentioned it in the beginning, but we let's make funny faces. Although you should probably take this seriously. Maybe it should be a deep conversation. Deep thoughts, deep personal conversation. Okay, so in the past, Kai had not wanted, to, he, he was going to move for Amira. And then ultimately I think he realized, which is good, that it would be to like not his thing. He loves Sulani. He wants to stay in Sulani. Jessica has really grown to love Sulani. Like this is her home now. You know, she's she's lived here since she was like eight. This is her home. She loves her family. She's got her siblings who are here. I don't think she wants to leave. And I think she's like talking to her dad and asking about it. Like, how did you know? you didn't want to leave Sulani. And I feel like Makai's like, well, I didn't at the time. Like I, I was fully ready to move to Windenburg. And he did move to Windenburg actually. But then yeah, I realized or, like he was staying there for Amira. And then, well, you know, there's also the fact that Amira was married. There was also that. <gasps> But like ultimately he realizes much later that he wouldn't have been happy. And I feel like he's like understanding why Jessica's asking this stuff. They're just building a sad castle. But I feel like he's understanding why Jessica's asking this stuff. Maybe he's like, oh, this is this is serious. Let's go. Hey, Makana. Hello. Oh, okay, Kiko is just taking us off. <laughs> okay, Makai is like, oh, this is this is a serious conversation. Let's go chat over here really quickly. Sit and Makai goes sit. Oh my god, Kona just keeps dancing. I love it. He's such a vibe. Oh my god, y'all. Makai's gonna be an elder kind of soon. Him and Jabari are around the same age. We'll wait a little bit. It'll be a little bit. But like, you know, probably within the next like 10 episodes, I would say. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're having, oh, he's feeling very playful. <laughs> so is Jessica. <laughs> you guys are the same. <laughs> okay, deep personal conversation. So he's like, okay, so what's going on? So Jessica's telling him what's going on with Frederick. You know, just now she's realizing now, what if I don't want to move there? What if I don't want to be queen? That sounds 
That sounds horrible. I honestly don't know if Makai's necessarily like, I think making her feel better in the way, like not trying to talk her out of it because he's like, well, if my daughter is, you know, having these fears, it's probably something to be concerned about. That's not something just to like qualm the, I, I think he is saying like, you know, if you love Frederick and and, and you, you think you'd be happy with that life, I think you can make it through. Like you can make it through your, whatever struggles you're going through. And Jessica's like, but what if I don't want that life? And Makai is like, mm, I know, I know this. <laughs> so yeah, maybe Makai is just trying to give her advice like, you know, do what you ultimately think is best. I think you'll, you'll end up doing the right thing. Just, you know, try to work it through with Frederick, see, talk about things, and, and if it if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll be here for you. Your family will be here for you, no matter what happens. Jessica's like, okay. <laughs> oh, now she's feeling more playful. Jessica, please take this seriously. I'm begging. Your secret's safe with me from loyal trip. Maybe, maybe Makai told her about, like, more about him and Amira. Because maybe he doesn't talk about that that often, you know? Like, Jessica and Alice May are, like, besties. And Makai had a very serious thing with Alice May's mother. So maybe he doesn't talk about it often. And Jessica's like, oh, I am learning new things. Like, newer things. Like, I know you all were together, but, like, I'm learning new things. So maybe that's the the, lo the loyal trait is interesting. When did Jessica get that? Wait, wait, when did wait? She doesn't have that. She doesn't have that. Wait, what? Lady Jessica's lips are sealed. Loyal Sims never spill the tea about the other Sims. Okay. Well, you're not loyal though. Maybe that's a bug. I mean, like I want you to be loyal. I again, I don't think she was outright like about to cheat or any. Although, what is going on with that relationship? Like, oh, there's no okay, y'all. It's gone. But they do have bad compatibility and the romance is gone. Maybe Jessica was like, oh my God, the, the, this wasn't, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do anything. <laughs> so now it's gone. So that's good to know. Okay, so that covers that. Again, we'll do a poll. Also, Kaleo's not here, as you can see. We will, we will see him in a future episode. It'll be a bit, it'll still be several more episodes before we see him, but you know, I have some catching up to do with him. And yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we'll, we're again, just getting through this wedding stuff and then we'll alternate some stories and, and getting to see some Sims with Sayori's story. Molly Grace, you are very dressed up for this. I was also thinking, so like Molly Grace and Graham definitely already went on their honeymoon. Some time has passed since Malia and Nani and William and Kanda got engaged and now to their weddings. I feel like Molly Grace and Graham, I could see them going to Enamorata for their honeymoon. Nani and Malia, I could see going, hmm. Where would they go? God, there's so many worlds. I'm like, hello? I can kind of see them going to Tobarog. Is that weird that they just went for William and Canda's wedding and, and then they want to like go back after their wedding? I think that's fine. They're, they like the tropic areas, you know? I could see that. Canda and William, I could see going to Mount Komarepi for their honeymoon. And Alice and Caspian, they'll be going to Tartosa, which I, I mean, like I know they see Molly Grace a lot and stuff, but I, I feel like a lot of the time we, they were always in Brindleton Bay mostly, and now they haven't gone to Tartosa as much. And it's going to take everything in Molly Grace's body to not bother them on their honeymoon because <laughs> she knows they're like in the area. Oh my God. Okay. A lot of people are here. So let's go ahead and start this wedding. Okay. Here we go. Nani and Koda. Stop. This is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's Koda's first board. Okay. Now it's Malia's turn. I love. Oh my God, you guys. It's time. It's time. Oh my gosh. Yo, I love them. They're so, I, I know we mentioned this before, which was actually really funny because the last episode, a freaking fire happened and La Nani's brother almost died. But besides that, I feel like, I don't know, Nani and Malia, they're just very, very calm, very steady. I feel like the friend group needs them. Oh my gosh, hello, everybody. Oh my God. Oh, this is Iolana. So Iolana is Jessica's sister and Makai's daughter. Oh my, oh, and the lights are on. But yeah, that's her as a teenager. So we'll definitely see. Wow, it's bright. Oh my God, they're literally, literally glowing. 100% glowing. Let's turn down the lights a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, much better, much better, much better. And are we married yet? Oh my gosh, okay, exchanging rings. It truly is so pretty. They're married. They're married. Yay. 
Oh my, and everybody's standing up. Oh my goodness, hello. Wow, Jessica and Frederick are sitting next to each other. Okay. Oh my God, Graham is a fan of Queen Leilana. <laughs> Makana, hello. Where's your beautiful wife? Oh my God, Iolana is a fan of Alice May. And then where's Kimmy? Where's my beloved Kimmy? That's I'm honestly all I care about right now. Where's Kimmy? Our strong, whoa, what? Whoa. What? Yo, what? Zachary is like Nani's second cousin something removed. They're related, but I guess it, him and Malia get along super well, but no, no, you can't. What? Bro, no. They're just getting married. They're newlyweds. Okay. Let's see. Let's do a, a first dance. Have first dance with Liege Nani. Okay. All right. They're having their first dance. Yay. That's it. Why? Ken and Williams were so much longer than... Gaze lovingly at new spell. Oh my god, they're married. This is wild to me. They are married. Oh my god, there we go. There we go. There we go. They look great. Everyone's crowding, though. Like, like Eloise, you are in the way, girl. You are in the way. But oh my god, yay, they're married. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that is two weddings. That's quite a lot. And the whole thing with Frederick and Jessica we saw too. I will post pictures of all the weddings. But yeah, I think I think we're good for the next episode because the next one is a big one. The next episode is going to be a massive one. And I know we got like a lot, like a several storylines set up and everything. So any predictions y'all have, always feel free to share. I love reading them. I love also a lot of people do a lot of like psychoanalysis. So some of the characters I've seen a lot of Zayori. I love, I love it because a lot of them are so right. Like a lot of them are exactly what I had thought of and exactly what I wanted to reflect in the characters and it looks like some people are already kind of getting that and so I, I'm obsessed with that so yeah thank you guys as always for supporting and, and for watching and the next episode is going to be a big one so excited for you guys to see but we'll end this episode here now we have so many couples married I'm excited to post these pictures and definitely for the big wedding in the next episode and for babies babies are next babies are coming soon so if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and I will see you all in the next episode for the big royal wedding. Bye!